Hello, YouTubers. Hello, subscribers. Kisses to all of you. I am starting this video over, and I just want to say I hope you enjoy it. There's a lot going on, and I'm just going to stay in my lane. I'm not going to try to... What I'm saying, try to give you too much because then I get confused and it gets jumbled. So, kisses to all of you. Breaking news Obi Scobie has named Megan's Royal Racist and she's ready to name the second one. I guess she's going to wait to her memoir to name the other one. No, what I see is someone that is wanting to put a stain on the royal family, take them down. I used to didn't think that she was trying to take the royal family down, but I actually believe that she's trying to take each member down. And for the only reason I can think of that she's trying to do that is so that she can build her royal brand. But that doesn't really make sense to me. But hey, I'm talking about Megan. And not only that is, is that she also is jealous of them, each and every one of them. To the point where she's obsessed with it. Also to think that she is obsessed and a junkie when it comes to, and this is allegedly, this is me, just my thoughts. When it comes to drama, she loves it. She feeds off of it like a mouse needing cheese or like a um, water, grass needing water. And if she does like the coordination, you cannot tell me she was loving the fact that we were waiting on her to tell us if she was going to the coronation or not. She was loving having that kind of control of the media. Oh, what's coming out? What's coming out? What's coming out? She's coming out with her book, but this is destroying her. It really is. It's destroying everything about her. It's making it worse, Sussex Squad. And you guys don't help. You guys are an enabler. When I used to be her fan, I used to be a fan of Megan. I used to be like, oh, what is she doing today? What is she doing today? Oh, And I would talk to my sister Denise about, oh, have you seen Megan? Just here and there. Now that's over. But when I was on there and doing Mexit, I was like, what are you doing? Why are you coming back here? You're a queen. Like, you're you're on top of everything. You come back here, you're going to belittle yourself. You're going to put yourself, and not in a negative way, but look what has happened. No, I don't feel sorry for her because she likes this. She's loving the fact that Obi Scobie did that book thing the way he did. He knew in Dubai that that book said Charles. He had, he, you don't know your, you know when your stuff is going out and you know what's in it. And obviously at some point, Obi Scobie put Charles's name in the book. Megan wanted us to know. And it, since he couldn't leave, I get, mm -mm. since Obi Scobie was like, I know who the real racist is. I got it right here. Megan showed me everything. See, right here, Megan shows me that King Charles wrote to her and everything. And I know who the royal, I know who said it. I know who the royal racist is. Now we back to the royal racist, huh, Obi Scobie? Because Harry said that Megan didn't say it. Now Megan is saying it again. Okay. Because you are the one that's having a conversation with Megan. He also said that she recently called him up to check on him. I heard him say it. If I find that clip, I'll play it. But they don't know each other. Not They're not friends. This is the worst kept way of them not being friends. They're going to have, have to come up with a better solution to show that they're not connected. No. Obi Scobie. Oh, did see, see, Megan, they wanted to leak the name. They did. And instead of just putting it in the book and... Oh, oh, Ms. Scobie said for himself, he said, I can't do it because of legal reasons. I believe he said that, but he accidentally did it. You didn't accidentally do nothing. You did it on purpose because if it was going to be legal reasons, then why did you put it in the book in the first place? So if you knew the, who the, if you, Obi oh, Scobie, you knew who the racist was because of Megan told you, mm -hmm. that's what you told us. And 
that you didn't put it in the book because of legal legality reasons. You don't know the implications of it. Mm. But some kind of way, it the name got dropped in there and Dubai read it. No, that's not how it went. Megan wanted you to drop it. She, um, y'all played this game that, oh, we better not put it in there, but we could slip it under the radar and somebody will read it and then everybody will know. If you knew in the beginning, Obi Scoby, that the book would be, you know, you would be um, in legal trouble or whatever or wrong implications, you, you, the, you didn't want to put the name in the book, so you didn't because of legal reasons. But some kind of way, if you knew that, then why did you put the name in the book in the first place? And then, since you put the name in the book, Obi Scoby, now you want to scramble around. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. You knew because you wanted it in there. You and Megan have been trying to get out who said it since she stepped on the scene, since she found out that it was said. Here's my... Let me go back to that. Megan knew when she married Harry what they said. So, Megan, if you knew that they were racist, then why did you marry your husband? If she, if Megan knew, because, is he nice? I just want to know, was he nice? No, you just wanted to know, was he a prince and did he have some money? And was he connected? And then when you found out that, oh, there it is. And then you knew before. Before you married Harry, this is important. She knew before she married Harry that someone had said something about the color of the skin. Well, if you knew that they said it before, then why didn't she have a conversation with King Charles before she married Harry? Why didn't she sit them down and say, listen, you know, I heard this. I wasn't pretty happy with it. It's unconscious bias. Can we work through this? No, Megan was in there taking notes. And the notes she was taking, she was making line. She was making up stuff. Oh, I know what we can use. We can use that comment that um about, you know, what color is the skin going to be and twist that around. <laughs> That's what she did. And, but the kicker to me, the kicker is to me is, is that she knew in the beginning. She knew before she married Harry. That's what I believe. I believe Harry was joking with her and said, oh, they want to know what, what our kids will look like. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They did? <laughs> if you knew then, then why wasn't you writing King Charles before you got on the Oprah show? Why didn't you sit down with Charles before you left the UK talking about Mexit and freedom? No, she wasn't. Th this is a game. Megan plays these games and she is writing this story that doesn't make sense. And then when you sit back and you watch it, you're like, oh, she's a con. She's everything. She's a con artist. She's a manipulator. And she's um, she blackmails and she's a bully. So she couldn't have the conversation with King Charles about what had happened. So it must have not been that important to her at the time. And then she didn't have the conversation when they left. So it must have wasn't that important. Now she wants to have the conversation with us. Okay. Now she wants us to know what happened and what happened. But instead of letting them know what she was thinking and all her thoughts. Uh-uh. She told us and Oprah. Now she's telling Obi Scobie who it is. And honestly, I can tell you that normally I would be like ranting, and I probably am, or I'm just loud by nature, but I don't care. I just don't care. But this is my take on it. I don't care. I don't care if Queen Camilla, King, I don't care if the Queen said it. It wasn't racist. Period. I'm going to prove it to you. First of all, 
this this book we've been talking about, Endgame. Um, it's spilling the beans, apparently, over the royal family, including allegations that Meghan named two members of the royal household who she claims took part in conversations about the colour of her unborn child's skin. So, could the royals be racist? We're joined now by showbiz reporter Stephanie Tecci and anti-racism activist Hello, Ivan Aitens to debate it. Welcome now, to you both. Who- I'm in. I... First, I didn't care for her. Now, I was caring for her. Now, I don't care for her again. Like, I think I'm done. Because she is not seeing both sides of the spectrum at all. She, To me, she's one of those people that are just, no, it's racism. It's unconscious bias. It's underlying, you know, racism. All this stupid stuff to justify Megan's behavior and Harry's behavior. No, this is not justified. This is some liathon because let me let her, let me let her. Both very uh, well known to viewers on our program. Who should we start with first? Stephanie, to you. What do you make of that? Stephanie. We must say allegations in this book. Yes, Andrea and Bev, I, I don't think the royals are racist because... She says, I don't, it's a little muffled. I don't believe the royals are racist. Neither do I. I do not think that. Based on Megan's assumption. I think, you know, in order to be racist, you need to have specific examples where someone... You need, in order to be race, have uh, uh, to be considered racist... You have to, um, let me let her say it. It has to be a specific. It really attacks the color of someone's skin. Well, yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> you have to attack that, the, that, that person's skin color. You have to be derogatory. You have to say something. Program. Who should we start with first? Stephanie, Sorry. to you. What do you make about these? That we must say allegations in this book. Yes, Andrew and Bev, I, I don't think the royals are racist because I think, you know, in order to be racist, you need to have specific examples where someone has really attacked the colour of someone's skin. Or- you have to have examples of someone attacking the colour of someone's skin. I'm going to put up the transcripts. Okay, let's continue. Made a very defamatory comment about someone's race. And I don't think that's the case here. I think what's happened from back with the Oprah interview, we've had these unnamed royals who've made um, specific comments. Oprah interview. I told you we're going to hear it. Oprah's never going to go anywhere. And that interview will be forever there. And what we heard on the Oprah show was... Blankless allegations. It wasn't nothing for her. Listen. It's about Archie's skin color. To be honest, that's more a kind of thing anyone would be kind of, you know, a bit curious to know what color is it. Most with children when they're about to be born. So I think until we name who these wills are and what these specific incidents are, we cannot say they are racist. Iman, just res- Let me just add to that because you can't just go around saying that people is racist because because of what they've done to you or said to you and you're gonna just conjure it up in your brain that that was racist but what kills me is that why would Megan even this is why I know she's lying think that that would be a racist comment didn't she get the titles didn't she get one It was something oh, sorry. Is it okay for a royal to have said, I wonder how dark this baby's skin will be? No, so good afternoon. Oh, good morning. Good Excuse morning. You. Good morning to you. Um, thank you for your point. I appreciate I mean. you said that people need to give specific examples in terms of racism. Well, I'll be honest, with all due respect, I think you're actually referring to overt racism where specific examples are needed, right? So our, rate, our frame of reference over. in this country is over. All these... Mm-mm. over racism I, I, there's only one kind there's only one kind <laughs> it's not all these little in, all these underlying things 
unconscious. Why I don't get offended or feel like it's a racist comment if someone asks me, "Is that your hair?" or it or is it or you know it's whatever. That's not like that would be considered. People think that that's unconscious bias. You're asking me what color what my hair is doing. No, I'm just asking you about your hair. <laughs> racism obvious deliberate forms of racial privileges. like king charles camilla william catherine the world we didn't even get to see we barely got to see archie because she was holding him up here and didn't want us to see him and um let me move on and so this is why it's quite easy to lead with the rationale, which is I need to have a very clear, cut, uh, amazing, obvious example of racism. So I think... No, you don't need no clear cut. No, you just need to know that it is. And it's not. And what's, what, what's petty about this is that Megan is still marinating it. And people have moved on from this subject because we realize after the two-hour car chase that there's something wrong. <laughs> Let me put the phone down. There's something wrong. After that two-hour car chase with the paparazzi from New York City and they almost died, there's something wrong. That's when she jacked up and Americans was looking at her like, what did you say? Did you just lie? And it wasn't just one lie. She lied on the paparazzi. They wasn't chasing her. <laughs> and she called them. Word on the street. Mm -mm. A clear cut racism. No, 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 no. You could say the same for Megan. This is it. This wasn't a clear cut. It doesn't have to be. It needs to make sense. And it doesn't. And Megan's claims that of racism, she keeps shining a bright light on that. Okay. And it's already been debunked that it wasn't racism. And so now it kind of looks like petty. It kind of looks like Ooh, there is something wrong with her. And unfortunately, as soon as everybody kind of find out, I'm backing up off of her. Because there's some serious problems that we are still talking about what somebody said about somebody's, what color the skin was going to be. This is, this is, this, and then you can almost go out and say, Obi Scobie, really? This is what you had to say in your book? How Harry is still going after his brother because he's jealous of him? How Megan is still attacking Catherine because she just hates her because she's better than her? And then, oh, let's don't forget about the rural racists. <laughs> Nothing about the bullying allegations about how Megan was bullying the staff. None of that's in there. Mm -mm. And and like they said, only certain people can interview Obi Scoby because he's not going to answer those questions on how Charles's name got in the book. Oh, I know. Make him told him to put it in there. What? She called him up later and told him to take it out. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the next story. I no. She's talking too much. She's making up stories over there in Montecito and the people in Hollywood don't trust her and don't want to have nothing to do with her. And this is why she's running around lying and keeping up drama because I can't believe this is a subject. And I, I'm sure I, you can't help me. Two things, Charles hearing his name and getting over the initial shock and then moving on. That's how it went for me. I was like, oh, she wanted that. They wanted that out. He wanted, He said he was going to name him. Didn't he do what he said he was going to do? He named it. He did exactly. He said he's going to name him in the book. And he put him in the book. But he slid it under the covers. And then he pretended like he didn't know nothing about it. Oh, I didn't know. And then I, I'm in over here trying to defend racism. She doesn't need to defend it. Just like it needs to be a, it just, it doesn't need to be a clear cut. It just needs to make sense. It doesn't talk about clear cut. No, it needs to make sense. 
If you are going to get offended by every little thing that someone says to you about your color, about your race, then especially about what your kids are going to look like, then you need to stay at home under the covers where nobody can see you because your feelings is going to get hurt all the time. Are you kidding me? What? Mm -mm. I'm on this mommy club, right? And I, this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. She wanted to ask me how, how me and my husband get our groove on if Kara sleeps with us. <laughs> another time, another story. You're actually referring to Stephanie's overt racism. I think in this particular... I want to hear, let you guys hear this clear-cut BS again. Racism, obvious, deliberate forms of racial prejudice. And so this is why it's quite easy to lead with the rationale, which is I need to have a very clear-cut... Uh, no, there's no clear-cut. It needs to make sense, Ayman. It does. And all these educated words you keep using to name off different kind of racisms doesn't make it even it doesn't make it make sense it doesn't here and then here's another thing and they're going to mention it how is a white person going to know they're offending me when they're talking about oh is that your hair or not people get offended black women get offended when you ask them about the hair i used to trip out about that i'm like why is that offensive Anyway, but what I'm saying is, is that when you are accusing someone of racism, Iman, you need to have a clear cut, clear cut factuality, everything in the, you need to have your facts straight because when you are accusing someone of racism, it is just like accusing them of a crime, And so Megan casually talking about racism is if it is something to just throw out there and just fling around and just accuse people of when they haven't done it is more than, you know, you can even, mm -mm. it's wrong. <laughs> and so I'm in, no, it does need to be clear when you are attacking a, a kingdom, a person, uh, someone that is in charge of countries and doing stuff for the world. You cannot frivolously, immaturely start talking about things that are untrue and accusations. That's what they said. Spewing off accusations of racism when it isn't there. And then to continue to marinate it. You... Your credibility got shot to the curb, Iman, when Megan and Harry made a fool out of you. Harry and Megan made a fool out of her. They did. Because she was over there on Pierce Morgan talking about unconscious bias, unconscious bias. And her and Pierce Morgan would go back and forth. Now, all of a sudden, she back to her old ways. <laughs> obvious example of racism. So I think what you're actually mm -hmm. referring to Stephanie's overt racism. I think in this particular context, we're actually talking about two things, covert racism and internalized racism. See, so now see, covert racism. Colism racism and internalized. That's that BS. I mean, if you got to dig that deep to get racism, just forget it. <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't. Not, nothing happened to me. What they say about your hair, nothing. It was uncon. Uh uh. <laughs> this, this, this is it. Well, you're actually referring to Stephanie's overt racism. I think overt. in this particular context, we're actually talking. It's the overt racism. It's not the into. This, this. It's the overt racism. It ain't the clear cut kind. Because you may miss it. Oh, okay, so I'm in. we supposed to get a book uh, explaining the different racisms? She wants to get, let me get a book. Racism. The different overt racism, the real deal racism, and this kind of racism. Pick one. Now you got to line them up. Which one did you do? No. Racism should not be put on some type of, um, 
It should not be put in some type of pamphlet, categorize that stuff. No, racism is just racism. And you see it. You don't need to dig deep. <laughs> Let me move on. About two things. Contact <laughs> racism and internalized racism. Okay. Internalized. Internalized overt. That's that stupid stuff. <laughs> That's that stupid stuff. Here we are talking about overt and in some in stuff when Megan has just called the king of England racist and is begging everybody to ask her who's the second one because at first it was only one now making them is spinning it's two of them it's two of them this is going this is killing her wme this is killing her brand this is killing the her off it is this this splitting here maybe iman is trying to help her trying to throw her a bone you can't the dust the Duchess of Sussex is no more. This craziness, and I don't care who you are, what whatever. Obi Obi Scobie did not write this book. Megan wrote most of it. Her section, what pertains to all of it. <laughs> Come on, let's let's see what other racisms there is. Because there might be more. Only know of one. Racism. <laughs> Well, that racism. As you know, you've heard the microaggressions. I'm definitely asking Micro. you about. You know about the term <laughs> microaggressions. I'm sorry, and you know what? I'm like some of y'all that probably believe what she's saying. Forgive me, but uh uh, uh uh, ain't got time for no pamphlet on racism. What they gonna do? The royal family gonna have a book? Get the book. <laughs> <laughs> get the book Megan said that we committed racism against her get the book off the shelf so we can see which category that is in that's in the is it in the overt one we, I didn't know this is that stupid <laughs> the kicker is Megan wants us to know they got one more girl <laughs> Then I want to just skip around and say this. The way Megan talks about Catherine should piss all y'all off. <laughs> called her lazy, called her a, a photo, a camera chaser. That's you, Megan. She describes herself. That's what blows my mind. The leaker. She describes herself. Lazy, you the one only work one hour a week for Archie Well. What are you doing? Spotify? Didn't they bring that bring the production to you? Didn't you have a whole studio set up for yourself? And you only did three three interviews? They fired you. <laughs> She's a producer now. She's sitting at the executive table. <laughs> Mm-mm. Ooh, wee, this is something else. And, okay, let's just move on. That's right, they're flying about all day, every day. And the reason why is because it's a normal thing, right? We mm -hmm. just get into kind of subtle behaviours in regards to racial prejudice. So I don't think you need anything obvious and clear cut because covert racism is really subtle. I think Listen, I'm so confused. Corvette is it's the covert racism. That's where it's at. That's where she's saying where this lies. So I guess let me go. Let me get the, it's the cor it's the corbolt, the corbert racism that we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. According to Iman. That's that stupid stuff. And then it's their fault too. It's their fault that they didn't know that it was corbolt. I don't know when I'm black. You know, forgive me. All I know is one racism. That's all I know. I don't know all these other break me downs. That's what we're referring to. And in terms of uh, sorry, that's what she's referring to. The core bolt. It can actually be broken down into three points. But firstly, colorism. She's still teaching us. 
I almost didn't do this video because all she, it's, I feel like I'm on a learning. I'm, I'm, I'm learning what her, her, um, I'm learning her racism codes, her racism stuff. Put it in a book, Iman, and sell it. Okay? Put your stuff in a book. <laughs> Stephanie, I'm going to talk to you on a real basis right now. Black woman to black woman. Tell me if... I okay. Now she's going to talk to her, to a uh, black woman to black woman. Now she's going to start bringing up slavery and stuff. She didn't took it that far. We didn't went from Archie's skin color to slavery. <laughs> Bring it back, Iman. Bring it back. Well, honest to God, tell me if I'm wrong. Colorism, which is basically yeah. uh, okay. The, so, like, Carbolt. There was this other one I mentioned. I don't remember it. And then we got um, this one. Yeah, that certain skin tones are more desirable than others. And okay, so now it's a skin tone thing. This is some BS. <laughs> In terms of context, connected to slavery, connected to colonialism, connected to racism, connected to colonialism, racism, and our skin color. This is some stuff. I mean, Negro you... and the field Negro. So I want you to appreciate mm -hmm. this is a very similar dynamic. She said, Negro. Negro. Connected to colonialism, connected to racism, connected to the house Negro house and the field Negro. Negro. So I want you to appreciate mm -hmm. this is a very more desirable than others. And this is, in terms of context, connected to slavery, connected to colonialism, connected to racism, connected to the house Negro and the field Negro. Negro. So I want you to appreciate mm -hmm. this is a very similar dynamic that we're dealing with now in terms of colorism. So the color... In terms of what I'm trying to say, keep it quick. In terms of what I'm trying yeah. to say, there are black people in my family. For example, I have many mixed-race people in my family and no one on the black side spoke about color or, or skin tone my cousins were going to be it's only white people that actually did it and the reason why is because if it's not an issue <laughs> i don't know what all that was that she was trying to tell us about slavery and all that i don't know where she took that but this is where she took it took her the skin color moment she says she's got white and black people within her family i wonder what they think about you the white people <laughs> and the black okay and she's got light skinned and white she's got a mixture of all kinds like me and she says that only the white side asked what they're gonna look like she's not she didn't came on here lying i do believe that i really do believe that that's that stupid stuff we i would sit around with my sister mm -mm, there's an app <laughs> There's an app you can get. I took Eric's face and my face and I merged it to see what my baby was going to look like. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then I put, you know, mixed it with the color and my color and all. But she's talking about only white people wanted to see that. She's lying. Chris Rock has, let me let her talk. Like, you can't tell me my family, I was curious when my sister had her child and her um, husband was um, white and her the baby was mixed. You know, I was like, oh, I wonder what she's going to look like. Don't you? Why is that something you wouldn't say? Why is that racism? Just like my hair. Like, is that your hair? What category does that go in, Iman? You, you won't talk about it. If it's an issue, you will talk about it. If you have racial prejudice and if you appreciate that colorism leads to privilege and white privilege and light skin privilege and pretty privilege and texture rhythm. Okay, Stephanie, privilege. let me right? nicely explained. No, let me let me no, just ask let me just ask yeah. Stephanie to pick up on that point then that perhaps these royals, unbeknownst perhaps to the Oh, hold on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. When my battery dies or gets low. Uh-oh. Houston, we got a problem. I'm going to put this right here. Okay, let's see if we can get it like this. Okay. I think we're good. I told you I'm in a new spot. Uh-oh. Okay. Hold on. 
Hold on, guys. Okay, it might be just a little cricket because I'm like, anyway. <laughs> Let's get back. In that environment as well, they were making a statement that was related to whether that child would be more valuable or less valuable. The Sussex's oh. cheerleader in chief. Oh, I mean, Scobie's okay. head job and game is Technical difficulties. This book, this book, this this book we've been talking about. End game. This book we've been talking about. End. This book we've been talking about. More desirable than others, and this is in terms of in that environment as well. They were making a statement that was related to whether that child would be more valuable or less valuable based on the amount of melanin in their skin. No, I don't think that's the case. I totally understand what you're saying, Iman, in the sense of colour is a light skin privilege and pretty privilege and texture is... Okay, um, Stephanie, let me... Iman, right? nicely Stephanie, explained. Let me... It's only white people that actually did it. And the reason why is because if it's not an issue, you won't talk about it. If it's an issue, you'll talk about it. If you have racial okay. prejudice and if you have that colour is them, leads to... Privilege and white privilege and light skin privilege and pretty privilege and texturism. Okay, Stephanie, let me Iman, right. nicely explained. Let me let me just ask let me just ask Stephanie to pick up on that point then that perhaps these royals, unbeknownst perhaps to themselves, as they're culturally conditioned right. in that no, environment as well, they were making a statement that was related no. to whether that child would be more valuable or less valuable based on the amount of melanin in their skin. No, I don't think that's the case. I totally understand what you're saying, Iman, in the sense of colorism. That's even an issue that plagues among black people. That's even within our own family. So I yeah. refuse to label that as racism because that's a mindset that has developed so many years and generations about how light a child's going to be, how dark a child's going to be. In terms of the royals, ignorance has been blitzed. We can't say that the royals haven't gone through a lot of changes over the last few right. years where they're addressing when it comes to race relations. But my problem is calling people racist very loosely is a problem because then when we do have real incidents of racism out there, people won't take it seriously right. when we try to when we try to bring it down to these kind of minute situations. Exactly. I didn't even think of that. You know, you know, this is racism and this is racism. And when you think of racism, you think of it as um, like a really bad thing. I do. I think it's a really, really bad thing. And um, if you try to water it down into these sections of racism, then she is, Stephanie is, she's on it. And I do appreciate her explaining this because if you try to put racism in these buckets and water it down to unconscious bias, like, that is watering it down and it's not, it's considered, what, what kind of racism in that is that? It's not racism. Call it, call it convert um, behavior, but don't call it racism. Racism is in a class all by itself. It is not, mm -mm, that's a bad word to just be using loosely. For Megan to call the royal family. And then put it in a category as Iman's doing. What does she do? Go back and get research it and said, okay, I'll put you guys in this category. No, Iman was upset with Harry and Megan for lying. For saying that it was unconscious bias. Now she didn't change the subject. And now she's come back with some new stuff. Check this out. Iman was on Pierce Morgan. They were going back and forth. And Pierce Morgan said... Um, Iman said, I am no, I'm no longer support Megan and Harry. And they are, um, because make Harry had came out and said that Megan never said it was racism. And so Iman was upset about that. And so she told Pierce Morgan that, you know, I'm, you know, pretty much, you know, I agree with you about these two, as far as the racism is concerned, it wasn't, I was lied to, we were lied to. Now she's backtracking what she said and now create, listen, this is what I think. I think she wants to be on the show and they want her perspective, but your perspective is not in line with, with what you were saying before. After Harry came out and said it wasn't racism, 
Iman was done with Harry and Meghan. Now, my question to her is, why are you back on this show talking about colonialism and, and all this stuff about racism and watering it down to, you know, it's okay when you know it's not okay? Because you wouldn't want to be called racist, Iman. No, you would not. But if you make these categories up and we need a pamphlet to look them up and see which one that was under, I don't want to be considered race uh, uh, um, racist if I say something I shouldn't have said and didn't know and I needed to look in the book. Oh, that was the wrong thing I did. Mm -mm. No. And, and what's killing me about her is that she's backtracking. For some odd reason, I think that she wants to be on this show and she has to say this stuff. <laughs> That's one thought. The second thought is, is that like she has to come back with something. Like, I guess you have one person that is for it and one person that is against it or whatever. Because you got Stephanie saying that it wasn't racism and you now you got Iman saying that it was. But a couple of... You know what she would say? I wasn't talking about that specific thing. No, you, we are. We, we're talking about Megan and Harry. We're talking about Megan talking about racism. That's what we're talking about. And now you are trying to backtrack again. I've lost respect for her again because you wishy-washy. And not that, that she's not on Megan and Harry's side. It's just that I'm like her. You keep coming up with these names and coming up with this information about different racism. I'm thinking we're trying to move away from all the racism. She's adding. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair we don't know who the royals are in relations. But my problem is, Marco Charles going to be, in terms of the royals, ignorance has been blitzed. We can't say that the royals haven't gone through a lot of changes over the last few years where they're addressing when it comes to race relations. But my problem is calling people racist very loosely is a problem because then when we do have real incidents of racism out there, people won't take it seriously when we try to it. when we try to bring it down to these kind of minute situations. It's not fair. It's not fair we don't know who the royals are. And it's not fair to be branding racism when we need to really define what is a racism. She said she was being emotional. Stephanie wasn't being emotional. <laughs> Stephanie was not being emotional. I'm in is off. You're off. You're off today, girl. You're off your game. You're off. Maybe she's just off because Stephanie is just making a comment. She is not, unless I'm in is feeling that. I think Iman is feeling the pressure because Stephanie is just making stating facts. And then all of a sudden Iman's like, um, you're um let me let you hear what is a racing is a problem because then when we do have real incidents of racism out there, people won't take it seriously when we try to when we try to bring it down to these kind of minute situations. It's not fair. It's not fair we don't know who the royals are and questions. And it's not fair to be branding racism when we need to really define what is a racism. People you think you're using that. You're being very emotional right now, with all due respect. With all due respect, you're not presenting very well. I've heard you. I've genuinely heard you, and I do apologize. Okay. I interrupt you several times, and you know, well, you are like So, I'm in is clearly confrontational. <laughs> clearly, I think she felt like she's being attacked by Stephanie. You can hear it. You know, and Stephanie's like, no, no. And you can clearly see Stephanie is calm and da-da-da-da. Iman is really doing it most. I I I just just want to go on, Iman. Pick up on that point. I just wanted to interject. Let me just say something real quick, Bev. You've spoken about it in terms of generalizing. We keep using this frame of reference in terms of racism, racism, and you keep kind of leading with this thought that racism is overt, obvious, deliberate, direct forms of racial prejudice. That is not racism in this country, Stephanie. That is not the prevalent form of racism in this country. I can give you facts. I still don't know why that is relevant. 
I do, I don't. I'm sorry, okay. Yes. We haven't got time, so I'll just keep it brief. You need to open your mind. Open your yeah, and we are. Open your mind. It's not about obvious things racial prejudice is now about subtle forms of racial prejudice and black people internalize that racial prejudice 